Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to be watching Lost season 1 episode 13 and this next episode is called Hearts and Minds and I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen in this episode. Listen, should I even hope for Claire at this point? We've spent two episodes without her so I have absolutely no idea when we'll see her again. Will we see her again or will we just find her dead body at some point? I have no idea. I'm so nervous about her so I'm very excited to see how they're going to handle this, where will we get to see where they took her? Will we be able to find her? Will they let her go just without her baby? Will they kill her? That is just like way too many options and it's stressing me out. So I really hope we get some answers about Claire soon because I've been chewing my nails off <laughs> over this situation. So please show me Claire, tell me she's okay, I'm scared. But yes, in the previous episode we did learn a little bit more about Kate and we now know that she killed someone, so that's, that's a lot. I'm excited to find out who it was, what she did, how it all came to be, and is that the reason why the Martians were after her or is it for the bank robbery? And what could a plane mean to her? Like, why does a plane mean so much to her? It's so crazy, right? Like, she went through all of that for a toy plane. Like, oh my god, it's just so intriguing. I cannot wait to find out the significance of that. And yeah, Boone and Locke are still, you know, working on the thing that they found. They haven't really been able to do much with it because we haven't really seen them do anything with it in the previous episode. I think the most we saw was them talking and then having an axe and then taking that with them. So I'm excited to find out when that storyline will, you know, pick up in a sense. And also about the whole Saeed Shannon thing. So, you know, they were trying to figure out what the French woman has been writing on that little map and what that could mean, what it could lead to. And I'm also excited to see whether Jack will get to meet Russo soonish or something because he did ask Saeed to take him to meet her. So I'm really excited for that to happen as well. But yeah, so many insane things are going on in this show all the time. So I'm very excited to get into this next episode. So if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. And let's just jump straight into it. Okay, what is this? I brought you a Why present. is he looking at them like that? I think they're being super cute and flirty. I think I'm not reading into it. I think they are flirting with each other. I brought you a present. Oh, wait, it is so nice. Found these in the wreckage and I have no use for them personally. <laughs> They're actually my size. Well, half a size off, but I swear this place is actually making my feet swell. Another mysterious force on the island revealed. <laughs> you joke, but it could be true. Why is Yo, he looking boom. at them like that? That's so creepy. You and Locke are going out hunting boy every day, right? What about it? It's cool, except how come uh, you're not coming back with any? We haven't had fresh pork on a plate. Maybe you guys aren't trying hard enough? We're hunting, all right? I hope so, because people need food, man. We're getting a flashback for him. Damn, I'm so excited. Things aren't so good. Where are you? Get out of here! Get the hell away from me! Shan? Shannon. Oh god, oh no. What's going on? <laughs> uh, Alright, Shannon, hang on. Just tell me where you are. I'll come get you. Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> Australia. Oh, no. So it's because of Shannon they ended up on the plane, huh? That's so crazy. Stay away from my sister. Why? For a moment you seem to be giving me an order. That's just a friendly suggestion. Oh, Saeed. A suggestion? Yes. If I were you, I'd listen. What if I don't? Found some fresh tracks down by the stream. I'll see you later. You know where to find me. Oh my god. What's going on with Boone? Why does he have an issue with Saeed? You need to put aside your differences with Saeed. He's hitting on Shannon. Okay, and? We don't want to make an enemy of him. We're going to want him on our side. John. What's Locke planning? Okay, it is. Why does it kind of look like a submarine? <laughs> this is our priority. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see what's in there. Been having some um, major digestive issues. What have you been eating? You know, the usual bananas, papayas, mangoes. Someone said they'd be good for digestion. Let me tell you, they lied. Well, it might help if you had a little bit more protein in your diet. Dude, what can I do? There's no boar. 
No boar, no protein. You can eat fish. Jin's been catching a lot of them. No way, man. That guy has it in for me. I'm not kidding. He offered me something to eat, like, right after he, you know, got here. Oh, yeah, and you laughed at him. That was not nice. He hasn't looked me in the eye since. The guy holds a serious grudge. You're not eating those, are you? Dude, these aren't for eating. Excuse me. Oh, God, poor Harley. Gross little grayish yellow things. Passion fruit seeds. What are they oh, for? Oh, is she gonna plant her own trees? I'll show you. You wanna see? Oh, yeah, I wanna see. Oh, it's Sun's little garden. Let's go. That's so fun. She planted some herbs and some low growing stuff here, and then she started a grove over there. Smart. It really is. That's what I was thinking. I was like, Eventually they're gonna run out of food, but I didn't want to mention it because it's like a TV show, it's fine. But I'm glad that they're actually addressing it. I was not expecting that. Stuff in the bowl, what is that? It's for later. Ludovico Bonorati. Michelangelo's father had no understanding of the divinity in his son, so he beat him. No child of his was gonna use his hands for a living, so Michelangelo learned not to use his hands. Years later, a visiting prince came into Michelangelo's studio and found the master staring at a single 18-foot block of marble. He used his imagination. Three years later, that block of marble was the statue of David. We're not going to stare at this thing for four months, are we? <laughs> how are we going to open it? Well, that's what we have to figure out. That's why we're sitting here. I mean, how do you open a hatch that has no handle, no latch? Well, with explosive, but how are you going to get that in the jungle? Oh. Boone? What's going on? What are you doing here? What, is she okay? What's going on with her? Why don't you give me a call tomorrow? Oh, smart girl. Okay. Oh, what's Enjoy going? your friends. So what's the plan? Do we get her out when the guy is away or something? Listen, man, I know you don't like me because it's the urgent thing. That's okay, because I'm asking for any favors. Let me know where you get the fish. Fish! Just point me in the right direction. I'll take care of my own business with my own tools. <laughs> you just said something mean, didn't you? I think maybe he told you to fuck off. You know, we're gonna have to tell them. Tell them what? What we found? You know, they're not gonna keep believing that we're coming out here hunting. We never go they're back. They're not ready. They won't understand it. What, what are you talking about? What does he know that we don't? I gotta tell Shigana. Why? What do you mean, why? Because she's my sister. Why do you care about her so much? You don't know her, man. I can't keep lying to her. You mean you can't keep lying to her, or you can't stand the way she makes you feel because you're lying to her? Both, whatever. Huh? What's the difference? Are you sure you want to do this? I got to get her off my back. She keeps asking me about this. She keeps asking about you, about the whole thing. You sure you've thought through the ramifications? Yes. He's acting like they found gold or something, and it's. <laughs> what the fuck? Doc! What is he doing? I'm so confused. He actually tying him up. Okay, cool. Now he just kidnapped Boone. But yeah, I was trying to see. He's acting like they found, you know, like oil or something. And if they don't get it, they'll lose out on a lot of money. Like, what is Doc doing? I'm doing this, Boone, because it's time for you to let go of some things. Because it's what's best for you. And I promise. What? You barely know him. You'll thank me for this later. What? What is? Hey, I... What is he doing? What is that? An untreated <sighs> wound. <sighs> out here. <sighs> I'm gonna get infected. Okay, thanks for that. You're not gonna just leave me here! Whether you stay is up to you. The camp is four miles due west. Which way is west? Are you figure out when the sun sets? What is he? You'll be able to cut yourself free once you have the proper motivation. Weirdest lesson luck. I don't think I can support you on this. This is this is not okay. Oh jeez. Unfortunately, sir, we'll need a little more to go on. I don't understand this. I'm reporting a crime. I just gave it back to him. Hey, yo, crock, huh? How come oh nobody wants to hear my side of the story, huh? What kind of Now, if that were her mate, <laughs> see, then I could help you. Wait, that's so cool. They met here. Rutherford is her father's name. My parents got married when I was 10, she was eight. So she's your stepsister. That's right. Oh no. no. Blood. Is he in love with her? Is he hoping for a little help me step bro, I'm stuck situation with her? You don't understand, Brian, is that you'll be the third guy I've paid to leave. Go to her house when she's not there, pack your stuff, and never have contact with her again. I'm gonna give you 25,000 US dollars. 
I love her. How much? My love for her. It's worth closer to 50,000. <laughs> That's extortion. Oh my God, he's actually writing the check. I was on my way to Bali. I travel a lot. Why are you just randomly lying? I was looking forward to exploring the island. Guess that falls under the category of be careful what you wish for. Oh no, Kate knows she speaks English. You speak English? I'm a quick learner. We've been here three weeks and I already picked it up from you guys. Damn it! You know what? Fine. You win, okay? You happy now? <laughs> I think he is. I'm out of here. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! What did he step into? Ah, I stepped in a friggin' urchin! Ouchie. You want to get infection? Get green amputation? Ah! Oh, oh, my <laughs> oh, my ow! God, it's about the drum board. Wait, I think they said his name. Jin. Oh, uh, ow, ow, you gotta do Did it. I get that right? Oh. You're gonna have to pee on my foot, man. It'll stop the venom. I saw it on TV. Just I thought you said it was a sea urchin, not a jellyfish. You need to pee, <laughs> pee on it. <laughs> pee on my Stop pointing at his dick. Dude, I'll lose my foot if you don't. Just <laughs> pee. <laughs> pee on it. No. Pee on No. Oh, he's learning slowly English. Is that a compass? Bruh, that's incredible. Let's go, Saeed. What are you doing out here? We were hunting, man. Boone thought I should take the afternoon off. Boone is hunting. Boy's eager to learn. Something ain't right about that sentence. Here, maybe this will help your cause. Is it an actual compass? Don't you need this? Not anymore. You already memorized the entire island. Somebody help me! Wait, is that real or is he hallucinating? I'm tied up! What? Can oh. you get over here? I'm tied up now! Did Locke give him something? Oh my god. Wait, is the monster like a parrot where it can mimic people's voices? Or did Locke drug him with the thing that he smeared on his wound? <laughs> Please, no! Come on, Boone, you got this, you got this. No! That's not real, right? Like, please tell me that's not real. Boone, help me! Wait, is this fucking real? What the hell? No! Light. Oh my god, the monster blows? Oh no, it just walked away. <laughs> That's just normal sunlight. Okay, we're good. See, I was immediately picturing, you know, that little angler fish. I think it's called an angler fish, like with the little lump. <laughs> oh god, no, what's going on? Is this real? Which way do you think north is? That'd be north. Correct. That's where north should be. Oh god, what does the compass say? Yet yeah, that is north. I'm not... A minor magnetic anomaly might explain a variance of two or three degrees, but not this. So what does that mean? I'm saying this compass is obviously defective. Uh-huh, <laughs> right, it's the compass. What did you do to him? What did I do to who? Locke. What did you do to that psycho to piss him off? Oh! What, he just did it because he was bored? Look, I know you guys Let's are... go back to camp. Did Locke tie her up too? Or is this not real? I cannot tell. We can go. Hey, mate, you don't get this yet, do you? What's what? <gasps> Did she play him? Was all of this her idea? You never even hit her. You set me up. This whole thing is a setup. Jesus Christ, Shannon! She told me your mum screwed Shannon over after her daddy died. Kept all her father's money for herself. Oh, sweet mom, you got there. Is that even true? This is the first time. It... Oh, you've done this before, you little bitch. Piece of... Ryan! Get off of him! Get off of him! Get off! Oh my god. What a messy family. I wonder how they end up on the plane, though. Any ships? Not yet, but I'm patient. How's the boar hunting going? I'm afraid they're beginning to migrate outside our valley. Smart animals adapt quickly when a new predator is introduced into their environment. You mean us? The most dangerous predator of all. Present. 
Does anybody else know? Only Michael. But not your husband? Please, I... Don't worry. I can keep a secret. <laughs> She's actually very good at that. So why don't you tell him now? I can't. Why? Because I love him. <laughs> That's interesting. Have you never lied to a man you've loved? Why did you mention it? I ate this, you gave me a fish, right? <laughs> oh, God. Is it good? No! How am I doing? With week two of heroin withdrawal? Or how am I doing with Claire being abducted by the freak who tried to kill me? Yeah, all of those. What do you think his story is? Who? Locke. The guy's a freak in The nature. best story so far, that's for sure. So you trust him? Trust him? No offense, mate, but if there was one person on this island I would put my absolute faith in to save us all, it would be John Locke. I don't know about that, actually. I don't think the kind of saving maybe he has in mind is what you have in mind. Because I'm sure your saving means getting off the island and maybe his is making the best home possible over here. Oh, oh hey. <gasps> oh, let's go, they're friends again. Well, never were friends. They're friends for the first time. Put out your hand. Oh, it's seeds, isn't it? Gross little grayish yellow thingies. Oh, no, no. These are slimy little bluish black things. <laughs> guava seeds. It's a garden without guava. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Why are you keeping secrets for this guy? Do you know who this guy is? He's the only one here that's clue to what's going on. What is that supposed yeah. to mean? It means he's smart. And shady, actually. We found something. What? Great question. Can't wait to figure out the answer to it. Like a door? Yeah, Shana, that's what a hatch is. Where's it go? What, what's going on with the bird? But I told him I wanted to tell you, and that's when he did this. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god, that scared me so much! Holy shit! What the fuck is the monster? Like a big worm or something? <laughs> No way, no way, no, absolutely the fuck not. Brian took the money. He's gone. Nice guy. I knew you'd bring the money, I knew you would. You are drunk. You wanna know why? This doesn't really matter, does it? Because you're gonna tell me anyway. Because you're in love with me. What? Yeah, I think so too. You've always been in love with me. You've always been a self-centered little bitch, but now you're delusional. I've always known it. You're sick. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's gross. Stop. It's okay. I don't think that's okay. Oh, that's so gross. Oh my god, he really does love her. This is definitely the beginning of a bad porno. Well, now his dislike of science makes so much sense. You should just tell your mom that you rescued me again, just like you always do. And then we'll just go back. To what? Being siblings? Get trust. Well, I wanted a flashback on these two, but this is definitely not what I had in mind when I was asking for one. Oh god, is she dead? I mean, I don't know how she would survive that, but hey, crazier things have happened. That's just a little blood. That's like just a tiny amount. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, she's just sunbathing. You know how Shannon is. No. No, this isn't real. Shannon? You can't, no. God, so bad. I did really like her. She was a bitch, but the fun type. Oh, God damn it. Oh, that, but like, that means that he would be responsible for her death. And he doesn't seem like the murderer's type. You made it back. That thing killed my sister. It's your fault. You drug her out there. Your sister. Don't play dumb with me. Calm down. She died in my arms. No, she didn't. She's not dead. She's not dead. Why is there no blood on you? <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I knew it. He drugged him. But your sister 
Shannon? Oh, she's right there. Oh my goodness. She was dead. Is that what it made you see? What made me see? Is that what he wants? For her to be dead? The stuff you put on my head. You dragged me. I gave you an experience that I believed was vital to your survival on this island. It wasn't real? It was only as real as you made it. Oh, he made it pretty fucking real, let me tell you that much. I saw her die. How did you feel when she died? Oh god, how did he feel? Oh no. I, I felt... I felt... I felt relieved. Oh god, that is messed up, man. What's wrong with you? Yes. Luck is like, yeah, that's great. Nothing wrong with you there. Time to let go. I mean, honestly, Shannon deserves better. <laughs> you know, it's probably the best for her if this guy is not near her anymore. Follow me. Oh no, is it turning into a mini lock? Okay, crazy episode. My goodness, what an episode. Oh my... Oh god. Okay, well at least Boone and Locke are on a renewed mission on getting into the little hatch. So that's exciting because hopefully that means we can open it soon-ish. But the rest of it... My god, Boone, what a, what a weird man, <laughs> honestly. I mean, I still like him, don't get me wrong. Also, I mean, it's Ian Summerhalder and he's so pretty. Like, how am I not supposed to like him? But, oh god, being into Shannon, being in love with her, and then just being relieved that now she's dead. <laughs> like, okay, I guess he's over his love for her now. But, okay, weird. But I mean, also, of course, Shannon did reciprocated or at least had sex with him which was again questionable thing from her part but whatever hopefully that's behind us now i think it seems that we've moved past this very healthy and normal step bro step sis relationship that we were all so looking forward to like i for one know that i was very excited for romance between these two so i'm a little bummed that it seems like it's not gonna happen but I guess I can be good with Shannon and Saeed together. It's it's like a good second option now that Boone is not into her anymore. But yeah, anyway, crazy episode. I did really enjoy it. Luck, very questionable guy. So he was like, hey, I know a great way for you to get over your crush on Shannon. Let me drug your ass. And then, bada bing, bada boom, you're cured. You're fine. You can focus on what's important now. And that is opening up the hatch. Why is, like, God, I don't know. It feels like Locke knows something about it, where it's like, oh, it's going to be so important and the others wouldn't understand it. Like, what, what, what would they not understand? I'm so confused. Like, I just... I don't know, just so many mysteries. So yes, I'm very excited to see where this is all going to lead. I also like now that Kate knows about Sun and her being able to speak English. So Sun has another little friend she can actually talk to as well. And it does kind of seem like her and Jin are on better terms. Like they seem a little bit more cute and in love. So yeah, I'm excited to see, you know, an episode focused on them sometime soon as well. Because Jin really was just like nice ish in this episode you know i mean that was that whole thing with hurley but honestly i understand him holding a grudge like you could say you know no to wanting his food without being a dick about it which i think hurley was completely and utterly that like he truly was just like Haha, dude i'm not gonna eat your disgusting ass food like Haha, you're so dumb like something along those lines right like he didn't call him dumb but the vibes were definitely there for that so i understand why Jin would hold a grudge but I love that in the end they made up and he brought him a fish and he even gutted it and scaled it so that was very sweet of him I'm really loving all these characters and I'm excited to see as I said a Jin and Sun focused episode as well like I want to see if maybe they can salvage their relationship their marriage and also what happened with Jin in the past. So yeah, this is another great episode. Finally got my wish and got to see the Boon Shannon backstory. Honestly, now I wish I had no eyes, 
But other than that, I loved it. No, but really, this was a really, really interesting and fun episode. And I'm excited for the next one, as always. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge shout goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone.